Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn how do you clone a repository, right? So here in UiPath under Teams you have the clone repository option. But first thing I need to understand why I have to clone a repository. So let me give you one simple example. Let's say I have worked on a bank project. I have completed the project along with my team and this has been deployed. This has been moved to production and the client is using the project. After six months, the bank is coming and saying, Hey Rakesh, we require little more enhancement to the project. We need a bit of changes to the project after six months. So in that case, what you do? Would you will you start everything from the scratch? No. You need the backup of the earlier version of the project which has been sent to the client, right? Generally, what we do, we will be keeping a backup. There are multiple places, but GitHub is one of the popular one. So here, let's say I have taken a backup of the project. So I'll click on this repository. Okay, I'll click on this repository. And here in the repository, you can see um, there is an option called code. So click on the code and copy the URL from GitHub. Very simple. That's all you have to do. You need to identify the repository and then hit on, click on that and hit on code and get the link. So once you copy the link, Go to Yapa Studio, hit on Teams, and hit on Clone Repository. So you got an understanding what the why I have to do a, a cloning. So here this will be blank by default. You will be pasting that URL. So once the URL is paste, the next thing it is asked for checkout directory. So where would you like to keep it? Generally, all your projects in UiPath by default it will be there under Documents, UiPath, and this is the place where you would find all your projects. So I want a backup of that. That means I would like to download that from uh, GitHub to my local system so that I can work on the studio. Now, if you see it is completely blank, all I will do, I'll, well, you know, you can give it a name. If you want to give it a different name, I'll give it a different name. Okay. And here you have the option called use credential. This is mandatory. Reason being until unless you have access to uh, that repository you will not be able to clone it to so ensure you have access to that specific repository once you have access you have the ability to clone it so now i will there are three different options sign in with github user password and token you can either go with the user password this is your github username and password or else you can sign in this option is quite easy you can go with and hit on open this is the place many people will have problem okay so what is the problem it will say you do not have right access even though you have access to that, still it will say you do not have the right access. You will not be able to clone it because of XYZ reason. So one thing what you do while giving the directory name, right? Do not try to modify, try to give it by default if it comes or else give it a folder. You know, directly write a folder name and click on open You can try that. If not, if still the issue is happening, one thing you have to make sure that you have installed something called GitHub apps uh, slash wiper. Okay, so this needs to be installed. Okay, the app uh, from developed by UiPath. If this has not been installed, then you will not be able to really. I mean, your UiPath Studio will not be able to interact with GitHub. So this app is required. Okay, um, and here you can you have the option once you install it, you have the option to configure. And uh, you know you can give the write access, read access permission. If you see, I have given permission read access metadata, read and write access to code. And where do you want? You want it to for all repositories, or you would like to give it to specific repositories? All these things can be done. So for that, UiPath app has to be okay, very. That is very impo important point. So once you have installed it, then there should not be any problem. Sometimes if the problem still comes, what happens? UiPath Studio might take some time to, uh, you know, link itself with GitHub. Just wait for some time and try after some time, it will work. Okay. Um, even I had challenge, challenges when I have opened UiPath, I was not able to clone it. So I, I had wait for some time and then it worked fine for me. So give it a try. Uh, give it a try and let me know. Now uh, I'm using this sign in option. The moment I hit on open, what would happen? If you see uh, this UiPath folder is completely blank, the moment I hit on uh, uh, open and then what would happen? This will get downloaded. So let, let me do that. You can see 
bank a1 modification folder has been created and the xml files has been downloaded okay so this is how you can clone a repository guys thank you so much please do subscribe to our channel in case you have not done it already please do share with your friends who would like to learn uipath from our channel please do share our link please do ask them to join our channel